they'll not do this again. In the midst of the desert, the 7th Armoured Brigade, the desert rats gathered at a remote British war memorial built in 1921. Over 40,000 British and Commonwealth soldiers are honoured here. They died in the desert sands in a long past but not forgotten British military campaign. As another draws to a close, the men and women who tread in their footsteps returned to pay their respects and to remember their own dead. <laughs> fitting perhaps that the Iraqi army they live with in and around Basra accompanied them in a joint service of remembrance. 176 service personnel have died in Iraq since 2003. Remembrance Sunday is always significant for the military but perhaps more poignant when they're deployed abroad. This year seems particularly significant because the mission is drawing to a close. There'll not be another ceremony like this in Basra ever again. While the details of the withdrawal next year are being worked on, on Remembrance Sunday, the military set aside the future to remember the past and to remember the most recently fallen. These young guys who are passing on now through, through going into operational um, circumstances and theatres, and um, it's a time to remember that it's, you know, it's, it's a current day thing as well as just remember the old guys who, who fought to give us what we have today. I, I will be thinking of Frankie, uh, football for Ryan Francis. Um, he lost his life, and obviously the other young lads who lost their lives on that, my tour of Iraq, um, along with everybody else who's lost their lives over the conflict um, during the British, the British forces. Um, it's a sad time. It's a very, very sad time. In all likelihood, many of these men and women will be deployed to Afghanistan in the coming years. These are modern wars, but for some, their fate is not different to the fate of those who passed before them. An Apache helicopter paid the final respects over the monument, a permanent reminder of the past, alone again in the Iraqi desert. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Basra.